This illustration uh, deals with other circuits in accordance with NEC 690.9A3 1 through 4. A is an apple. Now, the purpose of the change, uh, new subdivisions have been added to clarify the requirements for other circuits. Now, notice, if you notice, the modules are, are mounted on top of the facility that you see there. These modules are DC. Uh, they come down into the combiner box, make up. Uh, then they go in the direction uh, of the uh, controller, uh, the enclosure and, uh, for the motor and so forth. They also go in direction to the panel board where the AC circuits uh, are inside uh, or outside, depending on where that panel board uh, is uh, uh, install and then notice the wiring methods that you see boxed in there uh, are uh, wiring methods uh, rated for inside or outside depending on uh, if they're exposed to weather rains uh, uh, different temperatures can uh, where condensation could be a problem uh, uh, you know where water uh, could enter into the equipment we talked about those sections earlier and but notice now we do have uh, some specific requirements that we need to review in the information that's to the right of the uh, facility there. And then notice that circuits other than 690.9A1 or A is an Apple II shall comply as follows. Other circuits. Outside conductors... Uh, greater than 10 feet in length shall be protected from overcurrent on one end. Two, conductors in building greater than 10 feet shall be protected from overcurrent on one end. Three, conductors protected from uh, overcurrent from both ends uh, would uh, 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 be uh, uh, required to be done so. Uh, by this uh, new uh, subsections. Uh, then notice four, conductors not in our own building can be protected from one end where the circuit complies with all of the following. So we have to uh, comply with A and B. So A, conductors and metal raceways, enclosed cable trays, are underground entering pad uh, monitored enclosures. B, each circuit conductor terminates on one end to a circuit breaker or set of fuses that limits its current. Now notice all we're dealing here uh, in these rules and requirements are circuits uh, other than the PV circuits is the way this is uh, kind of read. Uh, and so we would need to kind of read that. And, of course, you can see the inverters that you see there in the very center uh, of the facility there uh, on the wall. Now, C uh, is coupling in also with item number four over to your right. And the conductor's uh, overcurrent protection is internal part of the disconnect are located within 10 feet of length. D Conductors disconnect is outside of building at a readily accessible location where conductors enter building and uh, such an installation has to comply with 230.6 where uh, if you're outside the building, then you haven't entered. If you're in two inches of concrete all around the uh, wiring method, you haven't entered the building. If you're uh, within 10 inches of brick, uh, you haven't entered the building. So C230.6, when you want to know when you're considered uh, outside the building. Now, uh, we've given you as much information as possible concerning uh, these new subdivisions and other circuits that have to comply with 690.983 items 1 through 4.